<laughs> yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better from yesterday, but I do still feel kind of, you know, melancholy. Partly because I think the Bills lost, which... Sorry, Bills fans. I don't know what to tell you. Somehow, some way, Bill Belichick always finds a way, and I didn't want this to happen to you, but, you know, it did. If it's any consolation, this is salvageable. In fact, I think you guys can, I mean, I still think the Bills are going to make the playoffs for sure. I, I'm pretty sure that's going to be, pretty sure that's going to happen. But we'll just have to, uh, you know, wait and see, you know, going forward. Um, so yeah, I guess my low is the fact that the Bills lost. But, you know, my high is, after I finally got the video finished, you know, I was able to relax a little bit, get some stuff done, you know, have a little bit of me time, and, th and that was nice. And, you know, my act of kindness was, uh, you know, I, I talked to my father last night and tried to listen to the advice that, you know, he gave me. I mean, again, honestly, what happened yesterday really, honestly, the vast majority of how I, what, how I feel is bad to do is because a certain someone had to completely interrupt everything and make it about himself. But in the end, my father and I were still arguing. And that's, you know, the long and short of it. Um... So, yeah, good morning and you know, happy Tuesday, everyone. I also feel a little bit more at ease because it's practically almost an hour. It's like, seriously, yesterday at this time, I was still practically in bed right now. And, you know, here I am. I guess it does sort of make sense. I feel relatively, you know, melancholy today, even though... By all accounts, I personally have no emotional attachment to this day. But I know if you're a history buff or a World War II veteran, you know exactly what I'm about to say. And that is today, December 7th, is Pearl Harbor Day. For those of you who don't know, or, well, actually, I'm sure a lot of people you know, but yeah, if you don't know, I'll be nice to you. I mean, it's the holiday season. I, I, I should be nice to people. I mean, I, I, mean, I try not to. I mean, I just said, I try to be nice to people anyway, but, you know, if you don't know, I'll be nice. I won't do anything for kids or anything. Basically, during World War II, um, Japanese warships bombed the uh, Hawaiian U.S. military base of Pearl Harbor. It was a very devastating attack, and um, President Franklin Roosevelt at the time said this will be a date that will live in infamy. And, I mean, this is back in 1941. And it's literally 80 years later. Or, no, it wasn't 1941. It was 1940. When did Pearl Harbor happen? I'll look it up real quick. Hold on. Actually, as I'm looking this up, oh, there really used to be it's so weird. Normally when like there's downtime in a video and like the person in the video asks, how is everyone else doing? Like, what sort of question is that? They're not going to be able to answer you unless they type in the comment section much later from when the video is being made. You know, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, okay, yeah, let's see. Today's pro already, but is it? Okay, uh... Ah, darn, my internet's not working. Give it a second. I have no man, but apparently it says like the temperature outside is like 34 and wind. Here we go. Uh, oh, shoot. It really did happen today. Cool. So, yeah, today is literally the 80th anniversary 
of the Pearl Harbor bombing, or Pearl Harbor attack, which, I don't know why I just, I said anniversary like it's a good thing, really it's not a very good thing. I mean, again, Franklin Roosevelt said this would be a day that will live in infamy, and, you know, the fact that, actually, hold on a second. Why does it feel like I'm turning away from the camera? Okay, that's a little bit better. But yeah, today is uh this time I can still see the computer screen glowing. Like down there. Um Yeah, so today is literally the 80th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. And I mean as devastating as an attack as this was, this actually really was a big moment in World War II because up until that point, the United States wanted to remain, you know, neutral. And when the bombings of Pearl Harbor happened, that's when we decided that, okay, we're going to step in now. And, you know, historians say that it was the U.S. involvement that helped turn the tide of the war. I mean, ultimately, it was the... It was D-Day that really, you know, changed everything, but, you know, a lot of U.S. troops wouldn't have been there were it not for the attack on Pearl Harbor, so, you know, in a way it's a sort of sequence of events that led to the world as it is today. I mean, I guess it is sort of, I mean, my father's a huge World War II buff, so he would know a lot more about this then, you know, I would. Um, hmm. Anything else happened today? Well, really there is nothing much going on. I mean, it's, by all accounts, I mean, if it really wasn't for the fact that today was, you know, Pearl Harbor Day, this really would be just another, another ordinary day. And, I guess if you're like a little kid, it probably is an ordinary day because a little kid isn't going to know everything about historical events unless, you know, they ask about that sort of thing, which, seriously, I, I probably grew up asking like so many like questions of my mom and dad, like questioning like so many things. And like, not once it ever occurred to me what happened on Pearl Harbor Day. <laughs> then again, there's been like, there's a lot of things where like, I didn't realize how bad things, some things in history were until I asked about it. Like, seriously, I was in seventh grade when I learned, like, what the Holocaust was. Like, really and truly. Then again, I blame Sam and her mother for that because that's a Catholic school and they're not going to really tell you much. It's, you know, it's a Catholic school. I mean, I guess you could probably tell the stories to I me. Mean, it's not really a long story or anything, but I, mean, I have said that for elementary school, I went to St. Mary Mother School, which was a Catholic school where you had like you know, uniforms and such. And honestly, well, to be perfectly honest, the real reason why I wanted to get to not continue on Catholic school because there was a like really bad kid that I knew there and he continued on to Catholic school and I was not going to put up with him for another six years, so that's ultimately why I went to Horseheads. I mean, granted, things would get, you know, worse there, but I wouldn't know that at the time, so can't really predict the future there. And sometimes I do wonder what my life would be like if I just stayed, you know, going to Catholic school. I mean, would this bad kid and I wind up being friends? Okay, probably not, but I'm sure I would have met some good people. I'm sure I would have, like, well, I don't think, well, that's another thing, too, because, again, growing up, I mean, I've said this before, I absolutely hated going to church when I was a kid. I thought it was boring, long, quiet, like, pretty much the last place a kid ever wants to be. And it made matters worse, you know, we always went to church in Corny, and, I knew absolutely no one in the city of Corny. I mean, my parents knew a lot of people in Corny, but that doesn't help me now, does it? It just, you know, I mean, it helps them. 
helps them get in touch with others, but that doesn't really help me or my brother when, you know, we go to, when we go to school and, you know, horse heads and we want to, and we want to go to corny every weekend for church. And that was another thing too, because, I mean, here's the thing. Lots of people are Catholic, but they really don't like going to church for pretty much the very reasons I'm talking about. But it always made me, it always bothered me like, uh, I gotta go to boring old church and everyone else is having fun. And that's really how it, seriously, that's like the vast majority of how things are. Of course, now it's come to the point where I feel like I absolutely have to go to church, partly to get it over with. And plus, if I don't go on Saturday, I have to go on Sunday. Yes, I have to get out of bed early and then go to church on Sunday. That is, it's not fun to do. No, it's not. <laughs> it's probably coming across like I'm ranking my own Christian religion, but I mean, I really don't mean to do that. You know, it's just, again, the vast majority, the vast majority of what I'm saying happened when I was like younger, and therefore stupider. You know, I can't. I'm not gonna know any better. But it really is amazing just how far things like, you know, go, and where people wind up being by the end of long periods of time. I mean, just take a look at Charlie Conroy. Today is going to be the final Xenoblade Chronicles 2 video. That's exciting. And you know what, lately, lately, yeah, I said I would put the uh, YouTube channel shots and, um, in the descriptions, but lately I've been doing like really horrible at that. It's, it's saying them in the video. So let's see. I think today's YouTube shout out will be to, hmm. You know what? From one upstate New York to another, I'll do a, uh, today's YouTube channel shot will be to the Babish Culinary Universe. Yeah, binging with Babish usually would come up with a video today. Because today is Tuesday, so. I wonder what video he would do today. Probably something holiday related from a movie. What would it be? Hmm. It'll be very interesting to see. And I personally can't wait to, I personally can't wait for that. Um, hmm, that's really about it, other than, we do have a new episode of Hot Ones this week, speaking of any food, like, we have a new episode of Hot Ones this week, and on Instagram, they usually give out, like, a hint as to, um, who it is, and this person said they want to be the next Marty McFly. Long story short, this week's Hot Ones guest is Tom Holland, which makes sense. Spider-Man No Way Home is coming out soon. You gotta promote that movie somehow. And I think that will be how season 16 of Hot Ones ends. Because it'll be three weeks and then, I mean, I'm sure it'll be a good long week. Here's the thing, the good people over First Week Feast do what they do all throughout the year, especially make a good show like Hot Ones. So, yeah, three weeks is the norm for how long that Hot Ones is gone, but if it's longer, as sad as I'll be about that, because I really do like Hot Ones, I want to see more. But even I have to understand that, you know, people need their time away from doing what they do to, in this case, holiday season, be with their families, you know, enjoy life, stuff like that. So without a question, I'm pretty sure this will be the last episode of Hot Ones from season 16. And if that's the case, I'm really glad it ended when it did because I'm pretty sure Tom Holland's episode is going to be pretty awesome. But the only real question remains, you know, is to speculate what they're going to talk about. You know they're going to talk about Spider-Man. Oh, they are absolutely going to talk about Spider-Man. Probably for more than one question. And if they don't talk about Spider-Man, they're going to do something Marvel-related. That would be interesting to see. 
Maybe, ooh, I wonder if for the last dab, Sean is going to try and dispel any rumors about another Spider-Man trilogy after this, after No Way Home comes out. That would be quite interesting to see. Like, favorite, share, subscribe button, follow me on social media, during YouTube. I know you're having this video for all of you guys watching. Joe, for him, it will be a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. And um, if you're a veteran who, you know, celebrates today, you know, happy 80th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. And if you are a veteran, again, thank you for serving our country. And remember, you guys want to talk to your mother, we need to lend back. Take care and make good choices. See ya. I always gotta reach now. It's a lot to, it's a lot of work to keep this Christmas tree in frame.